I've seen patients come both using the active care, both with knee and hip replacement. The knee replacement patients now come with the active care device underneath the bulky bandage, so both legs are being treated um, at time of surgery. So, I'm not certain how many patients. I know our physician that does most of the surgeries uses the active care, uh, and he'll do eight to 10 cases a day, twice a week maybe, three times a week, so. Um, quite a few patients come with active care and our other doctors are starting to use it more and more now too because the word's getting around that it's easier to use for the patient and for the staff. For my part, sure, I, I don't like drawing blood. Um, patients don't like getting blood drawn. Um, it's something you have to do when you're on medications, but uh, for my part it's much easier with the active care um, once a patient's educated how to use it and how to hook it up and walk with it. Um, it's easier for them, simpler for us. Um, it's easier with the active care being portable, that patients can walk in the hallways with, you know, and still be getting active therapy at the same time. Um, where the other devices you have to unhook from them uh, in that, that means someone has to be available to rehook them, restart the machines. Um, so it's a two or three step process when, it, when they're not carrying it with them. When they have it with them, it just continues to provide the treatment. Um, patients get used to it. Um, I, the most difficult part is teaching them how to wear it when they have, their, when they have the pants on. So <laughs> the major benefits, as I see with the active care treatment, are well, of course, the, the circulation issue, um, but the lack of use of other medications. Um, you know, anytime you add m medication, blood thinners into a system, there's always a risk. Um, so this, to me, is one less agent that you have to use with a surgical procedure and still get adequate coverage for, you know, risk of DVT. Um, so, the fewer interventions that you have to take medically, medication-wise, from, from my point of view, the better it is for the patient. There's <clears throat> less risk of things going wrong if there's the agent's not in your system. So they don't have to worry about foods that they eat with some of the medications or certain foods you can't eat. Um, so that's out. So if we have an extremely healthy patient that wants to keep up with their cauliflower and kale, they can. You know, it's not a problem. So, um, and that most of our patients think it's comfortable. You know, it's massaging. It's, they like that. So, and for me, you know, it's less work going in and out of the room just to hook up equipment. So. The active care is more convenient for the patient. Um, they don't have to wait for someone to come assist them in and out of bed to unhook other equipment that is attached to the bed. Um, it's easier for them and their families to, to utilize the equipment, um, to carry it with them. They're <clears throat> able to get around more freely you know, it's, it gives a patient independence that they didn't have before. Um, and with elective surgeries is mainly what we do. Patients are not sick, so they want to get up. They want to be independent. They want to feel like, you know, they got the surgery to be more active, more mobile, and the active care allows them to do that. Uh, the compliance rate with most of our patients is very high. I've seen is anywhere from 80 to 100%. Um, some patients don't want to take it off at all. They're like, no, I was told to wear it all the time. So uh, it's, we have to explain, no, you can have it off once in a while. We need to check your legs, make sure everything's all right. So um, patients, in, for the most part, are very compliant with it. Um, the sensors working in the legs, you know, with the patient in harmony, it's, um, it's kind of fascinating the way it works, uh, and patients are more complying with it. So it's, for me, it provides more coverage um, 
for prevention of DBT. I would recommend patients to use the active care. I would like to use it myself if I took a long trip, but <laughs> um, it's, it's an easy tool to use. It's not difficult for a patient to use it. Uh, I would recommend it. It's um, because of the, the safety factor of you know, getting the circulation and the safety factor of not taking potent blood thinning drugs, um, it seems like, you know, the best option for people to get good coverage with, you know, less complication. Um, I would like my husband to use it when he sits at the computer all day, but <laughs> he doesn't have that choice. Yes, I, I do think the hospital should use it. I know more and more of our orthopedic surgeons are starting to use it and been more inquisitive about it. They, I'm certain, have heard from patients themselves that they prefer that over some of the, you know, the medications that they've had to take in the past for surgeries. Um, certainly, our um, orthopedic surgeons are more and more using it. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how the rest of the hospital is using it. I had heard that we're going more and more broad patient based with the use of it, which um, to me makes sense because it's, uh, it's an easier tool for patients to use. Um, I am satisfied with the active care treatment. Um, from my point of view, it's, it's a modality that's easy for the nurse to use, it's easy for the patient to use, um, there's less risk of other disciplines unhooking devices and not telling anyone and the patient going for long periods of time without any coverage. If the patient's on the active care, that the coverage is there, no matter who sees them or where they go to for testing, this can go with them. Um, it runs constantly. It doesn't you know, have to be plugged into the wall. It has a nice battery life. So it it's, provides a, a more broad treatment um, continuously for the patient. So I'm, I'm very satisfied with the way it works.